Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. This is Streams and Tables. Now, remember that all the data that we're working with in KSQL starts in Kafka topics, all right? And there are clients somewhere, we presume, that are constantly producing new data into those topics. This is external to our KSQL queries and KSQL stream processing. Somebody's putting data into topics, all right? And a topic is just a stream of continuous never-ending data. There's always going to be more records in that stream of data. Now, KSQL doesn't use the word topic, doesn't directly interact with topics. It introduces a couple of abstractions on top of Kafka topics. These are called streams and tables. Now, both of them are kind of like wrappers around topics. So there's always a topic underneath. But streams and tables conceptually are very different things. A stream is an unbounded sequence of events. You could think of that as just things happening in the world. And all of those events are immutable because, well, if you think about it, events are. When a thing happens, you don't get to say that it happened differently than it did or that it didn't happen. The event happened. And if you're recording that, well, then it's this immutable thing. So this, this sequence of events happening in the world is really how you want to think of uh, a stream. A table you want to think of as the current state of the world. Uh, maybe a little bit more technically, a materialized view of that stream of events with only the latest value for each key. All right, you have to bring key and value back into this. Remember that messages in a Kafka topic are key value pairs and messages in a KSQL stream are key value pairs. So in a table, what you're looking at is the current state of the world. And what that means is for every key that you see in the stream, we're only gonna see the most recent value, the latest value represented in that table. So you could say it's a materialized view of events. You could say it's the current state of the world. Uh, these are all good ways to think about a table. Now let's consider one very simple real world use case and take a look at how streams and tables would deal differently with it. Now that use case is account balances and transactions that are transfers of money between those accounts. So we've got a stream, which is gonna be our immutable sequence of transaction events, money going from one account to another, uh, which is gonna be very, very similar to the underlying Kafka topic data that would be recording those events. Now a table is gonna be the latest account balance per user. With every transaction, of course, those account balances are gonna change. They're gonna evolve as transactions happen. So the table will have the current state of the accounts, the stream will have the record of the transactions. So our initial conditions is that Alice has $450 and Bob has $200. That's where we're starting these accounts off at. And there are three transactions that are gonna happen. Alice is gonna give $100 to Bob, Bob is gonna give $50 to Alice, and then Bob is gonna give $100 to Alice. Let's take a look. So the transaction up top, the stream, is Alice giving $100 to Bob. Alice is the key, and the value is, I give $100 to Bob. So now both the Alice and Bob values in the table have changed. Since Alice is giving money, rather than have $450, now she has $350. And Bob, rather than having only $200, he now has $300 because Alice gave him $100. So the current state of their accounts changed in ways that you'd expect. Also, because that table changed, we can create a change log saying, well, two things have happened. Alice is now $350. Bob is now $300. That's a business event out in the world, Alice giving money to Bob. We've got the current state of the world in the table. And then we can take that table and say, look at the things that have happened to the table and we can convert them back into a stream, which is a change log of the things that have happened in the table. So we go from stream to table to stream. All of these things are representing the same states of affairs in the world but there are three different ways to look at it, a stream, a table, and yet another stream. Uh, let's keep going with these people giving money to each other, uh, like friends dining out and Venmoing. Now we have Bob giving $50 back to Alice, trying to square up with her, and we see their balances change. Bob now, instead of having $300, he only has 250, and Alice goes up to 400. And again, on the bottom, we generate more changelog entries because the Alice row changed and the Bob row changed. So now we say, well, Alice 400, Bob 250. Again, business events up top, current state in the middle, change log on the bottom, stream, table, stream. So uh, the final transfer is Bob giving another $100 to Alice, and Alice now has $500, Bob now has $150. That's the current state of the world there. And we create two new change log entries, turning those table mutations back into events 
in another stream, this changelog stream. So the stream up top, I want to say this one more time, is stuff that happened in the world. So those events out there in the world, that's just in terms of the domain model, things happening in the world. It does not have any particular concern for our model in the table, our changelog concept, any of that stuff. It's just, here's what's happening. We convert it into a table, so we have a readily available, fast to access version of the current state of affairs in the world. And we can also convert the changes in that table back into a changelog. So you should see that stream to table to stream is a transformation we can always make. We can always take a stream and turn it into a table and a table and turn it back into a stream. Now, I say we can always do that. It's not always as meaningful to do that. So there are some streams that you never want to turn into a table. In this case, it's clearly useful, uh, but it's always theoretically possible to transform a stream into a table and a table into a stream. There really is a duality between those two concepts. And I hope walking through this example has made that crisp. If not, you know what? Just go back and listen to that again. Uh, give yourself a little bit of slack. This is a strange concept the first time you encounter it. We're also used to thinking about tables and we're kind of not that used to thinking about streams right now. And now when I tell you they're really the same thing, like matter and energy, but the math is more complicated, uh, you might be suspicious. So watch it again if you need to. But by the time you do that, you should be convinced that there's this duality between stream and table, and it's possible to transform between one and the other. This is a very, very helpful concept to cement as you get started using KSQL.